All good things have a sinister counterpart. For every adorable kitten clip, YouTube also has a video composed of soul-withering trauma fuel. Even worse, most of these are unintentionally creepy. We put the links to those videos in the description so you can experience all the horror yourself. Here are some of the creepiest videos on YouTube. Robopocalypse the brain spawn of Osaka University researchers, Baby Beelzebub here, officially known as Afeto, has the stated purpose of helping scientists better understand human intelligence through interactions with a realistic child robot. According to the Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineers magazine Spectrum, Afeto's uncanny humanity derives from its numerous facial expressions. Take this one for example, the common expression for bet you can't find the nanny. The hope is that Afeto will elicit genuine human responses from caregivers, better training them to deal with with real children. Sure, most of those responses will be curling into the fetal position, but at least the caregivers will really mean it. MLB The Horror Show Just about every video game runs through some weird glitches during development, but usually the problems are ironed out before the world ever gets to see them. But for some reason, the developers of MLB The Show 17 decided to share some of their programming hiccups with the world, one of which happened to be a horrifying head-morphing glitch. Rather than getting people pumped up about hitting home runs, they just gave the world a taste of what happens when your Starship's transporters screw up. Lead programmer Patrick Hager had a more positive spin, framing the visual catastrophe as one in a series of problems being fixed. But how would revealing such a grotesque flaw encourage anyone to buy the game? It's like trying to sell a sandwich by admitting you sneezed on it, or worse. I think of it like this. If you were going to eat a sandwich, you would just enjoy it more if you knew no one had it. Fiery Farewell According to this video's description, a doll randomly appeared in the yard of YouTube user Premium Aphid. So what does he do? He sets the faux baby ablaze, and that's where it gets creepy. Seemingly sensing its own demise, the flaming doll starts reciting the classic bedtime prayer, Now I Lay Me Down to Sleep. After offering its plastic soul to Jesus, the toy concludes its farewell by popping its battery pack and melting into a puddle. Also probably by haunting that guy for the rest of his life. Revolting Molting Aesthetically speaking, spider crabs can go right to hell. These spidery bastards boast a leg span of up to 15 feet and can live as long as a century. According to the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, the average crab takes 15 minutes to molt, but viewed in time-lapse, it's an ungodly undertaking. This video shows the beginning stages of the aquatic facehugger leaving its own dead self behind, presumably to hunt down its favorite meal, children's tears. And remember, people eat these. Ask yourself, do you see food? Happy Meal According to PBS, Ronald McDonald was invented by television host Willard Scott, who originally made appearances at McDonald's locations as Bozo the Clown before designing a unique clown to make the hamburger franchise chain seem more child-friendly. But in early commercials, the character feels a bit too child-friendly. One clip in particular definitely smacks of sinister vibes. Ronald meets a little boy and gives him free hamburgers. The kid seems suspicious of this roller-skating, burger-distributing clown, but fortunately Ronald trained at the Stephen King School of Clowning, so he knows exactly how to win a kid's trust. Mom told me never to talk to strangers. I'm not supposed to take stuff from strangers. I'm Ronald McDonald. Give me a McDonald's shake. <laughs> well, I'm Pennywise the dancing clown. Now we aren't strangers, are we? At the end of the commercial, they frolic together in a McDonald's parking lot. Just a happy boy and a strange grown man in a clown costume eating processed meat sandwiches. Ah, the 60s. Female figure. Art is always open to interpretation, but there's really only one interpretation for Jordan Wolfson's art piece, Female Figure, Run Away. An animatronic sculpture made of wires and fever dreams, the artwork is halfway between a seductive woman and a dirt-stained witch. But the worst part? She can talk, in Wolfson's own deep voice, all while making eye contact with the viewer. To put it bluntly, Female Figure has all the sex appeal of the Demogorgon in a bear trap. Which is partly the point. Wolfson explained to the LA Times that female figure doesn't aim to titillate, but tell a story. Still, that's one story we don't want to hear late at night with the lights off. Baby Secret Dolls are basically imaginary buddies you can see and touch. They're a lot of fun, if you're a little girl or the Antichrist. But there aren't many dolls that resonate with pure evil, like Mattel's Baby Secret doll. Sold during the 1960s, the doll's defining feature was its ability to whisper through barely moving lips without the aid of batteries. 
<laughs> Baby Secret offers up a treasure trove of terrifying statements, including hold me close and whisper, and I like to whisper in the dark. Come on, that's literally the setup for a horror movie. Thanks for watching. Click the grunge icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.